There is no doubt that the Rachel Zegler woke race swap Snow White movie is going to be another disaster for Disney. It was probably already, you know, had some struggles, had a mountain to climb, a hill to overcome after the bullshit we saw with something like The Little Mermaid. But then Rachel Zegler opened her mouth and made everything significantly worse. One of the things I was not expecting, however, was the announcement we got yesterday. That after all the chaos, all the drama surrounding woke Snow White from Disney, that Daily Wire was going to fire back. Daily Wire is making a live action Snow White movie starring conservative YouTuber Brett Cooper. I kind of like Hollywood Reporter's headline better. Daily Wire is making a rival Snow White movie trolling Disney. I like this one because it's very true. The way that Jeremy Boring starts and he talks about, hey, we've 100 years of Disney and it's sad to see what they're doing to this company. They're using Walt's name, but they've really lost completely their way. We also are a, a small studio with big dreams, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, one of the first things we wanted to take on was Snow White. In time, a prince would come. Is that her singing? It's someone singing, and it sounds like it could be her. I don't know if it's her or not, though. Once upon a time, <laughs> but now that time is gone. Snow White and the Evil Queen. Well, at least she's white, I guess. Uh, they got that part right in this adaptation. All we get to see is a couple of shots. But just It does look like a really good production. Like It does look like it's high-quality production. If I'm giving critiques about the specifics, I, I didn't really like the whole turn and look. I thought that came off as kind of cheesy or whatever. It was kind of like, ooh, it's Brett Cooper, everybody. And it's like, well, it's not really... It shouldn't be... The focus shouldn't be it's Brett Cooper. The focus should be it's Snow White. And it felt more like... This is Brett Cooper we're presenting. That's the only minor issue I would have with it. But overall, I think it looks like it has pretty high production behind it. And I think the timing, you cannot ignore the timing of the Snow White disaster from Disney and how this feels like a direct shot. Off this 50 seconds, it's mostly just nature shots. I have literally no fucking idea of what to expect from this movie. Yeah. None whatsoever over one thing of her just turning around. I can tell you this, what Brett Cooper had to say about playing the character of Snow White is much better than what Rachel Zegler had to say. I was raised on the original Grimm's fairy tales, so I'm thrilled we're bringing this iconic story to life for the next generation. Snow White is such a beautiful character, I'm honored to be playing her. Like all the best fairy tales, this is a story with timeless values like love, friendship, and kindness. I can't wait to share them. Compare that to, I don't know this. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937. And we absolutely wrote a Snow White she's that is- She's not gonna be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. Or this came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently so <laughs> um there is a big focus on her love story um with a guy who literally stalks her <laughs> yeah weird weird so just off the response to playing the character of snow white a little bit of a difference there just a little bit I, between I, rachel zegler and brett cooper my goodness and that is a perfect kind of breakdown of it though ryan in terms of showing brett cooper and her portrayal of the character and her perspective as an actress versus Rachel Zegler. Very, very, very uh, different, uh, 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 I'll say. At the very least, this is very different takes. Again, no, I, no idea what this is going to be like or how this is going to be, but uh, the fact that they're going right after Disney is interesting. I thought this was a bigger deal. So, Bent Key, this is the thing they just launched. It's now top of the app store for kids' content. We know the Daily Wire has been pushing towards this. They've been kind of silent around some of their projects for a while. It's probably because they were building a lot of this up. This is a minute long of just stuff for their, strictly this is for kids, programming for kids, agenda free for kids. I was kind of surprised with how much stuff there is. Let's watch this. Hi. I haven't seen this. It. Oh, hello. Want to play? Uh, uh. I've seen enough. These two are ready. Ready or not, here we go. Please keep your arms and legs inside the cart at all times. <laughs> Hurry up, the party is starting soon. Yeah! Follow me! Where is he going? We're going on a treasure hunt. We're exploring the wild yeah. blue yonder! It's chilla time! 
pretty incredible. It's unbelievable. Whether big or little, little or big, oh. we all have fabulous adventures together. Wow. It's time to head off for adventure. Look around you. All we need is a bit of music. Drum solo. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this. Hey, parents. Download the Ben Key app. New episodes available every Saturday. That looks fantastic. Like in terms of the quality and, and the range that they have. Yeah, that looks it really reminds good. me of some like super cringe like PBS yes. thing before you had to worry about like putting your kids in front and worried they come out transgender afterwards. Yes. You know I mean, and it just it looks like normal, normal content for for kids that you can sit your kids down in front of. Absolutely. Uh, there's like 100, 150 episodes of all these different things already ready to go right now. We'll see new episodes dropping every Saturday for a lot of this stuff, apparently. But that, to me, is a more impressive display than a 30-second a Brett Cooper uh, Disney or Snow White trailer. I don't think we need to dismiss the importance of this, what they are doing with genuine kids' shows that you can watch and not have to worry about it. And that brings it back to like a 80s, 90s feel or a vibe which is exactly what kids need. That's exactly what they need.